Hey, it's Oscar from the Golden Universe, and in this episode of Intermediate Java, I'm going to walk you through getting string input from the J Option Frame class. So I'm going to create a new class called Input Test with a main method, and I'm going to import JavaX.swim.jOptionPane. Now the J Option Pane class is a static one. So you type in jOptionPane dot show message dialog or show input dialog. We're going to be using the input dialog method. If you're already using a J frame, you'll have to specify that as a parent component. So we're going to create a new variable called string input and initialize it to option pane dot show input dialog and as message we're going to write enter some text if I run this I'm prompted with a dialog so I can enter some text and it will print it out here so I can also use this to store integers. But for that we're going to have to use the integer.parseInt method. This may throw a number format exception if the given string isn't actually an integer. So we should keep that in mind. So integer.parseInt option pane dot show input dialog. Enter me some numbers. and print that as well. So, enter some random numbers. And it seems to be an integer which is too large. So there we go, that works. I entered some numbers, and it prints them after it's stored them in an integer called input. You can also do this with doubles using the double dot parse double method or with floats or longs long dot parse long. You get the idea. This was Intermediate Java.